This is how you get all of your schematics in one run solo. This is how you get to the secret rooms, how to get wonder weapons. I'm going to show it to you all. Stick around. Let's dive right in. What's going on, y'all? This is Ghost6. Welcome to another video of the channel. The reason I'm doing this video is because a lot of you guys wanted to see any insight on how to do the first Dark Eater with very limited supplies or tools. And basically what I'm using today is I'm doing the Reclaimer 18 and I have a good loadout or uh, built on it. And if you guys want it, I can attach it in separate community post but basically when you start you don't have that many items you can see that i have only five items here a small wreck sack one plate armor but i also do have flawless crystal and legendary tool before you go to do anything in tier three i would really recommend that you start looting in tier two try to get as many stuff as you can and then pick up a bounty contract and here we go we got a bounty that gave us self revive which is pretty good the next thing that you can do is you go to one of the triangles and these triangles you got 30 percent or 33 percent chance of getting flawless crystal and legendary tool however whatever you gain out of it the most important part of it is to get the money once you get enough money from a bounty in tier 2 and one of the triangle then the next thing you do is you go get perked up trust me guys if you don't get perked up tier 3 is unbeatable you're not gonna make it too long at this point on i'm going to pick up some bounty contracts and try to collect items and essence technically speaking if you get around 40 to 50 thousand of essence you should be able to buy all the necessary stuff needed for the dark ether all right come on mangler you don't stay in the chains get out of here all right show me what you got no, I'm not going to use any of these stuff. That's all right. At this point, I'm going to show you guys just a bunch of HVTs that I did and some maybe cargo contract. One more shot with this mega and here we go. Let's see. I'll take that self revive. And yeah, doing cargo contracts these days have been a little bit difficult especially with you know the contracts are not spawning as often as you want it to be i was kind of relatively lucky in this round to have a few contracts like kind of lined up or maybe because i was finishing one contract after another and not giving sort of chances to other people to snatch the ones that spawn next to me but in general it's been really difficult to get contracts going and collect money and do things in tier 3 okay so let's recap i started with a small rucksack one plate armor and then I got all of these stuff. These are the stuff that I'm going to the Dark Aether with. A few self revives, a couple sentry guns, a couple casmirs, the Elder Sigil. I'm going to replace it with something else, which basically the self revive right after I activate it because you're gonna have an empty spot here. And once you're in the Dark Aether, you're gonna get an extra self revive will be equipped to you by default. So that kind of saves you a little bit of money. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing I would start in the dark ether is to get escort so we'll go this way and um, we'll take right now you can see the vr it's packed too which is basically enough to heal the escort vehicle okay we'll go this way we're gonna take that zip line Here we go, grab the first contract. There are usually boxes over here. I check him if there are any because they might have self revive. And uh, what I usually do, I go this way and see if there's a turret. No, there is no turret. Man. We just wasted a spot in our wreck sack for turret circuit. I'm hoping there's gonna be a turret down, you know, at the path. All right, we'll activate it. It's probably gonna be a mega. I would use the VR to kind of flip zombies as many as I can because they will work as a decoy and um, they will take a lot of, you know, firepower or attack from the zombies. Okay, let's get this Pangler. Right, here we go. Boom. I mean, this Reclaimer in the first Dark Aether, I, it, it's just crazy. It might be even stronger in the first Dark Aether or the second Dark Aether uh, compared to the lost Dark Aether. Annoying mimics always get stuck to the front of the vehicle. All right, let's see. Maybe I'll put a sentry gun here. 50% of the escort vehicle already? <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Where did he go? Oh my God, dude. Did you see that? That was crazy. Went to the top of the hill and this reload of the VR is just insane sometimes. Takes forever. All right, I'm gonna heal it a little bit more. Yeah, 
I got more Casimirs. Should be fine. I should I should be able to do it. So yeah, basically you do the first uh, you do the escort as the first contract, so you can use everything that you have. And you know, for the other contracts, you would you you will force yourself to play good uh, if if you're if you ran out of Casimirs and stuff. Look at that reload speed. That was crazy. Don't tell me there is no turret over here. Because I will... Oh my god, there is no turret. I have two circuits. Uh, no, actually, I have one circuit. I could have, you know, added a self revive instead. Man, and it's a crazy. It's a crazy. The buff of zombies. I mean, there is always buff. Every season, there is buff. If it's not the strength, then the numbers of them. I mean... Imagine, I mean, this is solo, uh, you know, the zombies numbers and, and the strength should be kind of adjusted a little bit to the solo, but no. If, it, if you get overwhelmed over here, the best thing to do is just to focus on the vehicle health and try to kind of steer away from zombies. I guess I just wasted all of my Casimirs, but it's all good. Um, hoping there is a turret all the way to the end maybe we'll see okay i throw this in let's see there's gonna be another mega coming that way how many megas just followed us so far three or two this is the third one right now I think I killed one and there's one behind me and there's one here to the left side, right? Yeah. Look at that. Two of them. For God's sake, I mean, seriously, I mean, it's only me, guys. Chill. Oh my God, I just noticed there's no turret here. This is crazy. This is crazy and I have six shots left in this uh, VR. So I better save it for uh, the vehicle. There you go. Man, this is crazy. Look at this. He's trying to eat the vehicle. And of course I go down. Of course. I mean, we have plenty of self revives. It's okay. Alrighty. And it's 100%. And, and I have a Casimir. Okay, I think I picked up one. We'll use the mine. The mine comes in handy really good. I really like it more than uh, anything else for solo. And I got emotional overdrive. <laughs> there we go contract completed let's see just leave me alone i'm trying to pick up some oh my god no 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 <laughs> that was a waste of self revive for nothing and also just keep in mind that i didn't have a blade either blade so this is really starting like with limited supplies however you, you know, I started with the VR, so. All right, let's get those, let's get out of here. So I got one schematic there. Once you finish the escort contract, you come to this room over here and there is a key. You get this key. Let me say, did I get it? I think I got it. And then you go uh, to another room, which is very close by, and it's over here. Take you to it. And usually you find something here. All right, so we got a VR. All right, let's go, guys. You got to be careful when you're in the room because sometimes you get just in a corner here and things go really messy. Going to the second contract right now, just going all the way up and then trying to jump off and go to the bus. There's usually a mimic that protect this contract over here, so I would just ignore all zombies and grab the contract and just run upstairs. If you don't have any uh, scorcher, 
use this zip line over here. There you go. For this PND contract, there's different strategies on how to survive it. I mean, if you don't have any Casimirs, you don't have any sentry guns, basically you just keep on running and get on the uh, uh, counters here on the top. Let me, let me show you in a minute. So you get on top of these counters here on the right side, and you keep kind of, you know, moving back and forth, back and forth, and the, and the zombies will try to catch you, but they can't. Basically, a avoidance strategy. I do, however, have a VR. Once I get a clean shot on one zombie with a VR and turn him, every other zombie will attack him, and then I will have, you know, plenty of space here to move around. Look at that. Once one or two zombies get flipped, you can just keep on flipping the ones are like next to them or attacking them. And then it, it keeps going on and on. I mean, nobody is going to be attacking you after that. Look at that. You could feel the breeze after you uh, flip zombies to mercs. That's another one there. This bunch over there. And, you know, the disciples are really annoying, but I noticed that when they... Oh, wait a second. Let me revive myself. Okay, I got the second... I think I got the second schematic, and I got a, a dog, and I'm, I'm going to... Pop the dog right now because I need it. After you finish the PND, you come over here to this whale and you get to um, key. This is the key for the second room. And the second room is once you come out of this, you go uh, left. Hold on, let me. I think they're killing the dog. You go left to this room over here, and there should be a weapon as well. I'm not surprised if there is none, because um, I've, I don't think I ever played First Dark either, and I got, you know, a Wonder Weapon in every single room. I don't think so. Okay, heading to the third contract, which is going to be right there. Usually when you're solo, you should be okay, you know, Going all the way to the roof and jumping, getting grabbing the contract. Here we go. Got to self revive. But if you're with a group and you're trying to go to this contract here all the way down there, then the whole group has to come with you. Otherwise, you'll be covered with gas. Just keep that in mind. And we got less than four minutes left for the whole game. All right, let's get that. So basically, I don't have any Casmias, I don't have any decoys, and um, probably ran very low on self revives. What I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use a mine for one of the PNDs, one of these ether extractors. Well, I'm just gonna activate it right now because there's no zombies around me. I'll take that advantage, and then I'll go to the second one. Uh, but like I said, one of them you could just try to avoid zombies and do it. You go second extractor, you use an energy mine to give you some space to activate it. And the third one, you could just, you know, stay to the side and kind of try to kill as many zombies as you can, and then you activate it. So that's, that's kind of a strategy how to avoid zombies. And I'm down again. How many times did I go down? I guess I'm not really taking good, you know, caution. And self revive. Never mind. I got it replenished. There you go. Look, there was a turret over here. What I'm gonna use this turret for? Anyways, let me activate this one. And there you go. <laughs> this is the problem. The six times I go down. Alrighty. Let's take that. Okay, so I think I got all three schematics. All three schematics, guys. One run, one solo run. All three schematics. I started with uh, one crystal. One flawless crystal, one legendary tool, one golden armor, and a VR. So 
I mean, those are those were enough to come over here, get all schematics, and pretty much get get everything that you need. Now, I'm going to show you the other um, secret rooms for uh, two of them. It'll be a total of four. I don't think I'm going to have time for the last one, the fifth one. But I'm going to show you this one here. So you get this key over here, and then you try to jump all the way over there. Wait for this ambulance to come down here to jump on it. And jump on this one. And that one. Once you get this key, then you come over here to this door. There should be something here. Nope. No wonder weapon. No worries. Let's go to the final secret room and see if we can find something. I'm really looking for um, maybe a scorcher. The final secret room is basically you go back to the um, main buildings here. Jump over to here. And then you go to second floor. Yeah, this is the second floor. By the way, the gas is right on top of me. And I think we have something, guys. Look at that. Scorcher. Scorcher and a VR in one game. Now I just need to exfil, guys. Zombies, leave me alone. I just need to exfil. I'm not going to kill any of y'all. I'm just going to get out of here. Alrighty. Here we go, guys. This is a quick run of First Dark Ether. I hope you like the video and enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, my friends.